It's a great day for a drive, especially in a 2023 Bronco Sport Big Bend Edition in Cactus Grey. Ebony cloth interior, seating for five, four doors and a hatch. And as well, it's got a 1.5 liter EcoBoost engine paired with an automatic transmission and it's a four x four. It also has a nice little table in the back. So if you wanted to picnic or do a little work, you could. You also have a bottle opener as well as navigation and reverse camera as well as a trailer tow hitch. And if you'd like to take this vehicle out on a test drive, you can book that online at islandford.ca. Stay tuned, we're gonna have a look under the hood and inside and out. This is a 1.5 liter engine paired with an automatic transmission and it's a 4x4. Let's have a look inside. Storage and speaker in the door as well as power locks, windows and mirrors. The driver's seat is powered with lumbar and you have these nice all-weather mats with the Bronco Sport badging on them. You also have the lift gate release and lighting controls and on the face of the steering wheel your iconic bucking bronc as well as lane keeping and cruise control volume your menu and hands-free dialing. This is a push start, so your foot's on the brake, keys in the pocket, and we're gonna push the engine start stop button. On your dash, any important messages, the odometer reading, and you can toggle through that menu. So we've got driver assist, navigation, your media, phone, information, and then back to trip one, and these all have sub-menus. In the center, you've got this nice display screen. This is just a protective cover on there. So we're in the main screen right now. So in sources, AM, FM, Sirius Satellite Radio, as well as Bluetooth, you have navigation, so your map's gonna come up. And in your settings, you can go in there and choose different options. You have your clock and phone and radio, Ford Pass Connect, General, which allows you to go in. I'll just pop in there for you for a second. You can change the language, the temperature units, and the measurement units. So say, for instance, you're traveling in the States and you want to change it from kilometers to miles, you can do that. And then you have your automatic updates. There's your navigation again, and they all have sub-menus. As well, when you put the vehicle in reverse, this is where we're going to see our backup camera view. So there's the bumper. That's a protective cover. Green, yellow, red, just showing you how close you are to other objects or vehicles. And the center line is located there. Let's go back into park. Volume and tuner. And you have your hazard lights. Auto stop start for less idle time. You've got a little cubby. And you've got your fan there. Heated seats for driver and passenger. AC and max AC. That's your climate control. Front and rear defrost. And then down below, you've got a wireless charging pad. USB, USB-C, and a 12 volt. Plus, you still have a place to put things. Automatic shifter your electronic parking brake and auto hold. This vehicle has a trailer tow hitch. So if you're towing or you're on an incline, this would hold you in place. You've got goat modes, so goes over any train. And as we dial through, you're gonna see it on the dash. So there's drive mode, normal, eco, sport, slippery, and sand. And the little icons change in look as you go through. And this is allowing you to have more or less traction as needed, depending on the weather, depending on the road conditions. So it just gives you a little more control, which is nice. A couple of cup holders and your armrest opens up. Lots of room in there and you've got a USB as well as a USB-C. And then off to the side is the glove compartment and you have an auto dimming rear view mirror, your lighting controls, and you also have a power moonroof as well as power screen. So you can just press the button and it'll go across for you there. And I'm just showing you that. And you also have a sunglass holder located right here and grab handle off on the side, just making it easier to get in. 17 inch wheels, mud flaps, the big bend badging, black door handle with intelligent access, meaning when the fob's in close proximity, you can lock and unlock the doors. And driver's side capless, easy fuel gas filler. In the back, you have your lift gate. There's a windshield wiper. And below the handle is where you have your backup camera. You also have a trailer tow hitch. And you can open up the glass independently of the door. And when you're ready to open up that hatch, all you have to do is press the button. So the door button's here and the glass one is here. So we're just gonna press this. It'll open up easily for us. And inside we've got lots of room this all-weather mat on the floor and underneath is where your spare tire is located and you also have this nice table it's got legs you can just bring it right over and then drop the legs down or fold it up if you don't want it out and as well you've got inches and centimeters and ruler here 
as well. You've got clips and tabs, a 12 volt back here, as well as a bottle opener. And then when you're ready to close it all up, there's a handle on the right or the left. Just pull down. And it's now securely closed. You can lock everything up and walk away or jump in and head out on your latest adventure. And on your fob, you have remote start. Storage and speaker in the door, as well as power windows. There's seating for three in the back with a 60-40 split. Simply push the button at the back of the seat. It'll come right down. You're seeing that nice table and that just pops open if you'd like. You also have an all-weather mat on the floor. Anchors on the back of the seat to be able to tether baby seats. And then you also have a seat belt minder off to the side. You just push it in there and then when you put up the seat, you won't have to worry about the seat belt getting caught. In the center is an armrest with a couple of cup holders, all weather mats on the floor, and you've got these zippered pockets on the back. And then down below you have USB, USB-C. Up top is a moonroof, dome lighting, hooks and handles. Lift gate in the rear, privacy glass in the back windows with window vents, roof rails, adjustable side view mirrors with blind spot information system, auto high beams, fog lights, and so many more reasons to visit us. If you like this video and would like to see more, please subscribe. We have plenty to share with you and we'd love to see you and also hear your comments. 